everybody to another edition of the Bearded Weirdo Show. And today, I would like to uh, introduce you to my uh, friend here, um, <clears throat> who is uh, a Nazi zombie from the movie uh, Shockwaves, which was uh, 1977, um, directed by Brian Usna. And uh, some of you guys might be familiar with his work. He uh, actually was in, uh, or he directed um, the uh, Return of Living Dead Part Three. Um, which is probably not exactly the, the greatest in the franchise, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, a lot of people, I think, um, like the movie in particular because of Julie in it, but uh, anyway, today we're gonna be talking about Shockwaves. So, a um, little backstory on the Shockwaves movie. Um, it, uh, I guess, long story short, you know, most of the, the zombie, Nazi zombie um, type movies always revolved around the Nazis always trying to find the way to create the perfect super soldier through either um, <clears throat> you know, magical uh, mysticism or through straight up chemicals and, you know, robotic um, constructs and things, whatever. Um, but these guys, uh, as far as in Shockwaves, uh, the story goes that the these particular soldiers were like the worst of the worst. Like these guys were like uh, rapists, murderers, thugs, you know, just all around bad guys. And um, much like how the American military did a sort of a suicide squad, these guys were um, actually asked to be in this uh, death corps. And the death corps, uh, essentially, these guys would just run in, run rough shot of the enemy. Um, they really does explain, like, if they were living or dead, per se. Um, I guess it's kind of sort of implied, since, you know, obviously they run in there, you know, barehanded and they, you know, rip the enemy to shreds. So, um, at some point, though, these guys were sent out, um, I guess I'm assuming in the, uh, the theater, uh, of, you know, in the uh, Pacific there, and the boat was lost. So now, uh, through, I guess, again, you know, mysticism style storytelling, uh, the boat appears randomly, I guess, when there are strangers in the area and, um, you know, proceeds to kill anybody that enters the island, so... Uh, there is a crazy old man that is played by Peter Cushing, which uh, he does a fantastic job. But of course, I love Peter Cushing and just about anything he's in. So, and uh, so these uh, particular zombies show up after this um, tour boat uh, breaks down, um, and you know, the people have to forced to wash up on shore and everything. While the uh, uh, which also stars John Carradine, he's the uh, boat captain in it, and um, he you know they try to repair the boat and everything and. Um, you know, the zombies, the boat shows up, the zombies rush on land, you know, shenanigans ensues kind of thing. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it's kind of great storytelling. I mean, at the beginning of the movie is the end of the movie. Um, it actually shows the gal, the last surviving person of this whole ordeal and shows how she uh, is catatonic and, you know, she's dehydrated and, you know, she's screaming about monsters and, you know, all this other, you know, crazy stuff and everything. So obviously nobody believes her. But, um, like I said, this is one, this one particular one is from Death Studios. Um, if you have a chance to check out Death Studios, they make some really killer masks. Uh, they have a lot of, uh, unique masks and things. Um, this particular one I got, I I've had my eye on this one for a while. Um, and he does have a, uh, um, or used to have one that had a sort of wet look, like it was kind of glossed over, like it just came out of the water. Um, these particular zombies are, um, waterlogged. You can tell by the, how they're wrinkled and the wrinkle features and everything here. They wear goggles. Um, again, it's really specified as to why they wear the goggles, but however, um, <clears throat> as a cheesy way of putting it, that's how they kill the zombies. They actually rip the goggles off, and I guess maybe whatever is keeping them going is behind their eyes. I don't know, but uh, yeah, so the you know so when they rip the goggles off, the zombies drop dead. Um, I think they only do it to like a couple in the movie anyway. I know one for sure. Uh, like I said, it was kind of a sort of an accident. Um, like I said, you know, it's it's definitely one of those unique um, zombie, Nazi zombie type movies and things. So, but this particular one, like I said, I love this piece. This is one of the ones that I had had my eye on for a while, and I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and buy it. And I'm glad I did. I wasn't disappointed, and I actually did buy several masks from him before. And uh, like I said, I just I've never been disappointed. He's always had great quality. Um, always kept you up to date as far as you know. Hey, I'm you know. I'm working on your mask, still doing this, putting this together, painting it up. So, again, I love when mask makers do that. I love when they actually keep you up to date on what they're doing and what they're working on. So, but without further ado, here is like so the Shockwaves zombie here. 
And uh, the goggles actually, um, like I said, they, they're leather type goggles and they, of course, you know, the way it's been painted and everything, the detail, but it actually looks like leather. And the goggles, like I said, everything is completely latex. Uh, so, you know, but it looks very realistic. It looks like, you know, the zombies from the movie. Um, you can tell by the waterlog features there, how it's, you know, you know, kind of when you take a bath and your uh, fingers and everything, your extremities get wrinkled up and things, you know, so it's kind of the same effect here. Uh, the hair is matted down to the head. Again, it's got sort of, like I said, if you look at it, it, you know, at a glance, it kind of has this wet look about it, which is cool because, like I said, again, the zombies are waterlogged. So um, it's got a few little um, features there. I'm not exactly sure if those are bullet holes or if they're just, you know, sores of some sort. Never really does, you know, we really kind of go into details about it. Um, most of the zombies in the movie look like this. They have the, um, you know, the, the, the sunken, shrunken looking skin here. Uh, very deathly pale, the white hair, uh, sort of, like I said, kind of Aryan race, super soldier kind of thing going on there. Um, very super, they're super strong. Uh, of course, it can be, you know, killed by conventional methods, you know, the, as far as getting shot, you know, hit with things that don't go down. So, um, which is interesting, you know, again, if these guys were used in World War II, um, you know, it's kind of disappointing to know that your, you know, perfect soldier can be killed by ripping his goggles off, but yeah, hey, whatever. You know, we all gotta have our weaknesses, right? Achilles heel. So, but like I said, you know, it's a fantastic mask and there's some details there. You can see the, the uh, nostrils there and, you know, like I said, the mouth and everything, it's all one piece. This is uh, this mask is wearable. I mean, there actually he does make some that are busts that he will do foam fill for you. But uh, this particular one, um, I decided I wanted an actual mask, and um, I haven't actually foam filled any masks, um, and I'm afraid to because you know, like, what if I want to do a cosplay at some point? Um, <clears throat> however, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do a cosplay of this guy because I mean, they wear the Nazi uniforms and the Nazi symbols and all that, and. Uh, you know, kind of a touchy subject, so. But uh, like I said, the guy in mean, this, you know, this mask is particularly, it's, it's fantastic. You can find it on Death Studio's website. And I'll post it down in the uh, links down there, so. And uh, if you guys want to check it out and see what you think. Uh, he's got some other fantastic masks up there. Um, I did pick up a uh, Friday the 13th um, Jason mask. Um, and it's the, um, you got the, you know, the deformed, you know, it's got the tooth and the uneven eyes and everything. Um, I'll do that at a later date though, but again, it's a fantastic mask. He's also got one from Dawn of the Dead on there that I uh, snagged, and again, I'll probably cover that in a later video. Um, I do have several Dawn of the Dead masks and things. I'm big George Romero fan, so um, which is big reason why that got me into zombies from the from the start there. So, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I love the mask. It's it's fantastic. It this is very very detailed. Um, looks great, and even. You know, on camera, um, I always say a lot of times camera doesn't really do masks justice, but it really does do this particular mask justice. It looks just as cool as it does on camera as it does, you know, sitting here right in front of me. So, um, like I said, I hope you guys will like the mask and everything. Uh, like I said, if you want to, you know, enhance your collection or if you're looking for a unique, you know, uh, piece to add to your collection or if you were kind of, if you saw this mask at some point and was kind of on the fence about it, pick it up. It's awesome. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, but his, but like I said, Death Studios always does quality work. I've never been disappointed about anything that they have made. And um, they've always been, you know, Johnny on the spot as far as, you know, keeping me up to date on shipping and, you know, uh, where they are with uh, my product and everything. Like I said, I can't, I really can't complain about these guys and stuff. So, um, you know, but uh, like I said, that's, that's the uh, Shockwave Zombie. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And, um, That'll keep me, uh, you know, uh, motivated to do some more mask reviews and things. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as much as I like doing them. So, but with that, we're the Bearded Weirdo signing off, and I'll uh, catch you soon.